Can you actually have a seizure from drinking too much kombucha? What kind of seizure and how much kombucha do I need to drink? Something like that happened to me last year, so consider this a free PSA. To begin with, I drank alcohol since my teens, up until 2020. From 2015 to 2020, I probably had one to three alcoholic beer or cider around four to five nights a week. Steady. In April of 2020, however, I stopped drinking alcohol, but I started consuming a lot more kombucha. Kombucha, if you don't know, is a fermented, caffeinated tea. Finding myself alcohol-free last April, I started to think my fermented brew was a safe coffee alternative and alcohol substitute. By summer, kombucha was always cold and always in my hand. Perhaps I was drinking about three a day. Is that how many kombucha could cause a seizure? Not quite. I was drinking even more than that when I had my seizure. I'll get to that in a minute. First, what is the recommended daily allowance of kombucha? What are the risks of overconsumption? How much kombucha should you have a day? What we know is that not much is known scientifically about the benefits that the kombucha industry advertises. On the other hand, there is growing evidence that we shouldn't consume more than about one bottle a day. One bottle? When I read that for the first time, it broke the image I had developed of kombucha. It was my secret gummy bear juice, which apparently the research said could cause metabolic acidosis in some cases. That means having more than one kombucha a day in some lab studies was associated with the blood turning a bit more acidic. At the deepest and steepest part of my descent, I went through roughly 28 servings of kombucha per week in October 2020. More than four someday, maybe five or six some days. I did significantly curtail that rate of consumption by October's end, but in early November, one morning I woke up and felt a little out of sorts. I was going to end up in the hospital, but had no clue yet. By then, my habit was to drink coffee as well as two kombucha before I would consider food. I also take my antipsychotic medication in the morning for schizophrenia. If I did go out of the house without eating, which happened sometimes, I might feel faint. However, I generally always ate plenty later in the day. Maybe for a few days this pattern was at an extreme. One morning, the last thing I remembered before ambulance staff were with me was something about food. I should eat. This kombucha isn't the right thing to consume right now. Thankfully, I didn't fall and hit my head. I went on autopilot for a few minutes. My roommate said I was walking back and forth, incoherent, and the most absurd thing was I went into his washroom, and he didn't know this until we figured it out later, I unconsciously removed my pants, my underwear, and then put my pants back on before leaving the washroom, to no one's knowledge until much later. Yes, by that I mean for hours I didn't know I wasn't wearing any underwear. <laughs> When I came to, the ambulance attendant was holding me steady and said, Hi, we think you might have had a seizure. We'd like to take you to the hospital to get checked out. Luckily, I came to when I did. My roommate told me the hospital staff, hearing that I was diagnosed schizophrenic, thought I was being psychotic and they were thinking of leaving because I was absent without leave, walking and talking during my seizure. My roommate insisted that I was not behaving normally Thankfully, he was there. After blood tests, they told me at the hospital that I was very low in phosphate, and that's the only thing which was out of balance. It would be the phosphate if it wasn't related to my brain or an epileptic thing. Brain tests later in November indicated it was probably the phosphate. Equipped with lab results and the internet, what I discovered was acidosis can cause phosphate levels to drop. That was the link I needed. Kombucha in excess can put the blood into acidosis, and that might have caused my phosphate to drop, which in turn might have caused my seizure to happen. What I know for sure is that I was consuming four to six kombucha a day when reasonable research says I should have played it safe with just one kombucha a day. I'm still clear of alcohol in 2021, gladly, but maybe my safe alternative to kombucha has become coffee 
after all. <laughs> Thanks.